Tuesday live in Brighton with Melissa Dennett and Glad to be Dead is a series of monologues of voices from beyond the grave. The four actors tell tales from historical figures, fictional icons, real victims and real murderers. Confined to their rooms... They recount their lives and the lessons they needed to learn. It was co-written by Jade Flack and her mum and takes place as part of Brighton Fringe at the R Bar on the 22nd to the 24th of May. Jade told me what the starting point for the show was. Quite honestly, I love history and I thought, why not make theatre out of that, really? So I've taken some new people, some people that we might know about, some people that you might not know about, and I've given them a voice on stage. So the idea of this is this is monologues from dead people. So some of them are real dead people and some of them are fictional. What kind of research did you do to to find the best stories for this? So a lot of the research came in lockdown, actually. And like quite a few of us, I ended up going down the true crime route and doing all of the, the Netflix documentaries and everything. And I just I was taken one day with a very, very like minuscule story. They made it out to be very minuscule. And then I, the more research that I did into it, the more I thought this is a beautiful person cut down before their time. So why not get their story out there as much as I can? And what was that story? So it's the girl in the drum. But as, the, as her title kind of gives it away, she was found in a 55 steel gallon drum 30 years after her murder. And it took them about 10 years to find out who did it. Wow. OK, so some of this is, is going to be... Um... Quite, it sounds like it's going to be quite dark. <laughs> We're a 12 plus for a reason. But we do tell it with a lot of comedy as well. We've got some philo- like philosophy in there as well. We have some dark humour, satirical comedy. It's We've tried to take maybe grim stories and give them a bit of a comedic edge because no one wants to sit there for an hour talking about murder <laughs> in that much detail. Otherwise, we'd all be detectives. Well, there is a balance to be struck, isn't there, what, around trivialising a, a, a real murder, which is what a lot of those true crime things do as well, isn't it? Some people do feel that they, they've trivialised a tragedy. Mm. You must have put a lot of thought into that about how you actually portray something with sensitivity. Yes, definitely. It's taken myself and my mum, who's the co-writer, it's taken us nearly two years to perfect these scripts. So we're very, very excited and very happy that we finally got the, the correct balance, if you will. So no one's coming across in any bad ways at all and we give as much respect as we can to the victims and you have some fictional dead people as well of course we do so (laughs) i'm very excited because we're touching on dorian gray and jekyll and hyde within our scripts as well which has just been an absolute dream to work with the actors who are portraying them i think they're very funny and they're bringing a different side to each character which I don't think is explored in the book I'm taking liberties here let's be honest who doesn't when they talk about Dorian Gray absolutely yeah what's it like working with your mum arguments arguments or harmony oh it's terrible I've killed her she's actually the victim that we talk about in the show no I'm teasing it's I'm very very fortunate to have a very close relationship with my mum and I think it's just helped us kind of grow as well we've seen each other in a different light now as I'm more of an adult I think in her eyes where she looks at all of the event planning I've been doing and she's just great at telling me no that's wrong that's not how someone would speak you need to change this so it's been great (laughs) do you think it's going to spark up some conversations amongst the audience afterwards I really hope so I I'm a strong believer if theatre doesn't pose questions afterwards then I think it needs reworking. Now, that's just my personal opinion. I always come out of a theatre with more questions than I came in, and I I love it. It sparks um, just joy and excitement and entertainment and just questions and what-ifs, and I really hope that our show will do that for some people. And have you got a particular favourite one? I do, actually. My favourite one is The Girl and the Drum, but my mum's favourite one is Our Murderers monologue which we're calling Webster's Ego. And I don't want to give too much away, but it is, I think, one of the best monologues that we have in the show. I think it's the perfect mix of dark comedy, philosophy, morality, and just not audience interaction but or participation, but she definitely speaks to the audience and can stare you down very easily, and it is very, very funny.
That is Jade Flack talking about Glad to be Dead, co-written with her mum Donna. You'll find that at the R Bar on Marine Parade from the 22nd to the 24th of May. Uh, two shows a day, 2.30 and 3.50pm. Uh, once again, info and tickets from brightonfringe.org.